Hi you guys, it's Rick from Tackle Village back again with another fly tying video. Today we're going to tie the F-Fly, which is a really versatile um, mayfly and caddis uh, pattern that is very, very effective on fussy trout in particular. Uh, you can tie it from a 12 right down to an 18. Today we're going to tie a 12. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this one I tied earlier and put in the hook. Uh, the one we're going to use today is the standard dry fly hook uh, TMC 100, which most of you will know. Um, now, remember, if you like this video, uh, don't be afraid to hit like. Also, subscribe to our channel for more fly tying videos just like this. Okay, first step is to lay down a thread base, which we will do now. Good thing is this is quite a simple and quick pattern to tie, so you can get through quite a few in a session. Uh, there we go, thread base is sorted. Now, next step is our to dub a body. Uh, in this case, we're going to use uh, some hair fibers. Also, you can use the one that I had earlier um, was actually uh, wanted to get a darker body, so I just used some seals for, for that one. Um, you sort of take your pick. I like to tie them in both um, the hairs mask and also the uh, seals fur, so I've got a little bit of variety in colour. Uh, with the seals fur, you can also represent an ant fall uh, termites as well uh, as your standard caddis and mayfly. All right, so what we're going to do is build a thin, build up a thin dubbed body, uh, and come almost up to the hook eye. I'm just going to come up a tiny bit further here with this one. A little bit more of the hairs here on. That should be roughly enough. Okay, so it's a tapered body. Okay, I think we've got it pretty much how we like it. I like to keep this relatively slender. Okay, next step is to tie in the CDC wing. So what we want to do is get three or so um, small CDC feathers. One, two, and three. What I want to do with these is, is line up the tips uh, and stack them one on top of another of each other. I'll show you what I'm doing in just a moment. Okay, there we've got our bunch of CDC feathers with the tips roughly lined up. Just correct the alignment a little bit there. And then we want to tie these in so the wing extends uh, back just beyond the hook shank. And tying them in just behind the hook eye. Okay, I just wind up my thread slightly and we'll tie these in. One, two, three wraps. They're tied in. Now we'll trim off uh, the ends. Now all that's left to do is for us to build up, uh, tie down those ends properly and build up a thread head, which I've done here without crowding the eye. Now I'm going to whip finish. One, two, three. I'm going to add a drop of head cement to make sure the fly is pretty durable. Get a few fish out of it. And believe me, it's a fly they love to eat, so it will be getting quite a few tooth marks on it from time to time. All right, I'll just put the drop of head cement on. And we're done. There is our uh, CDC F flight. Like I said, it's a pretty much a two minute tie, so you can crank out a lot of these in an hour. Um, one of the sort of staple dry fly 
patterns that we use on our uh, local streams. Very, very effective. Thanks for tuning in.